Hello everybody, Scotia here with a very, very quick video for today. I don't have a lot of time in the moment, so I'm going to try and make this as quick as I can. But uh, I just wanted to give a quick update on some things that uh, are going to be happening on the channel across the next year. If you've seen my latest video or if you've seen the latest community post on this channel, you'll probably know what this is going to be about. But this is indeed about Street Fighter 6 Year 2. And if you watched the last video, you'll have heard me say a lot of things about my feelings on Year 2, my frustrations with it, my issues with it. Uh, for the most part, I still stand by everything I said in that video. If I've changed my stance on anything from that video, it's probably that I just don't feel as strongly about it as I did at the time, because what you've got to bear in mind is, you know, that video was cut from the live stream I did uh, that happened during Summer Games Fest that was done, you know, uh, after that reveal and was kind of hot off the press, so to speak. It was kind of my immediate thoughts. Well, not immediate, but was my kind of like initial thoughts post the reveal and post uh, Summer Games Fest in terms of, you know, uh, kind of, you know, I guess you could say knee jerky and all that. But, you know, like I said, for the most part, I still stand by everything. I, you know, I, I am interested in Bison, to be honest. I will admit I am 100% open to admitting that, you know, what they've shown of Bison is actually interesting. I'm intrigued by it. Um, my only issue really with Bison is that I just I feel like he's way too early. But of course, uh, there have been interviews with uh, the Street Fighter 6 developers, uh, Takeyuki Nakayama and Shuhei Matsumoto, where they have just openly stated that the plan from the beginning of Street Fighter 6 was to always have Bison back this early. So, you know, I think that's absolutely ridiculous, but that's not the video for this. So I'm not going to go too deep into it. With regards to the two guests, Terry and Mai, uh, I'm actually quite interested in Terry. Uh, you know, he's not my favorite character. He's not my favorite SK character, but I think he's... He's a pretty solid character. Like, you can't really go wrong with Terry. Uh, Mai, I think, is okay as well. I'm not a big fan of Mai, but she's okay. My issue, again, is just the, the both of them at once. I think is ridiculous. It should have been one or the other. Shouldn't have been both. Uh, if it was up to me, I would have, you know, I would have rather had Terry and got rid of Mai or saved Mai for, you know, season three or whatever. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um... The only thing that, you know, I feel like I have walked back on and I'm willing to accept that, you know, I was a bit harsh and a bit rash to say so was the times I may have said both in that video and on Twitter. I'm done with Street Fighter 6. I'm not covering Street Fighter 6 on this channel again, blah, blah, blah. And at the time, I did mean that. Uh, I was very upset. I was very just kind of done with it. I was just so frustrated that like, again, you know, blah, 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 uh, just things didn't really go the way I was hoping they would. And I get it, you know life isn't supposed to be catered to just me but it's it's kind of all of that you got to bear in mind like all of that was just the result of a lot of years of frustrations of just you know me hoping things would go in a certain way and like repeatedly them just not going that way it's just frustration at the end of the day it's penned up kind of just you know just i think frustration is the only word i can really say but you know, it's been a couple days now since the reveal of year two. Like I said, I'm still not thrilled about it. It's still not at all what, you know, I would have chosen for a possible year two. I'm still insanely hyped for Elena. I'm really happy with Elena. I think she's going to be great. And, you know, I think the day after even, you know, I did that video, I was kind of like, you know what? I'm probably going to at least come back for Elena because, you know, I think her being back, you know, and her being, again, like the first Street Fighter 3 character, to show a post third strike. I think that's worth celebrating and you know, I was probably going to come back for her anyway. But a lot of the stuff they were doing with Bison, like I said earlier, was just really intriguing to me. And at the end of the day, you know, I like Terry and I think an SNK character being in a Street Fighter game in, you know, 2024, I think it's worth celebrating as well. So, you know, I was intrigued by them and I was kind of like, you know, is it really worth me being like, oh, you know, I'm putting my foot down, blah, blah, blah. Um, but there was also the other side of me that was like, you know, I kind of want to have some kind of like backbone, I guess. Like, I don't want to just immediately be like going back on things I stood by or said I stood by and all that. So, you know, I was very conflicted and I didn't really know what to do. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to ask you guys. And I put up a poll on my community page on the, my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you to the people who voted and commented on that. I really appreciate your guys' input. It really helped a lot. And if you check the poll now, or I'll have it up on the screen now, depending on how it goes, the options basically were to just stream Terry and Elena, because those were the two that I was probably the most interested in. Uh, the option two was to just stream everybody in year two. And then the last option was don't stream anybody at all. And obviously, stream everybody won. I had a feeling it would probably win. And in some ways, I kind of just wanted you guys, I feel, to probably just kind of confirm to me that going back on i mean i mean not so much going back on my word but kind of like doubling back and being like okay you know what it's not really worth boycotting street fighter 6 it's still a good game at the end of the day i still enjoy street fighter 6 
uh, even though I still kind of lack that character I really like. You know, I think it's still worth going back to and, you know, covering on the channel. And at the end of the day, as much as, you know, I make content for me and stuff I'm interested in, you know, I do stuff for you guys as well. And like one stream every couple of months across the next year isn't too much of, you know, a ball breaker, I guess, if you want to if you want to use that term. You know, it's not too much of a strain on the channel. There's loads of other stuff I want to do that, I'm, you know, I'm currently working on or I have planned. You know, stuff that has nothing to do with Street Fighter or Street Fighter 6. Uh, there's one big video I'm very close to getting into a position that I'm going to start doing. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm still going to mostly do content that I want to do that I'm interested in. But I also want to, you know, ask you guys and go, hey, do you want me to do this? Would you be interested in me doing this? And that was basically what that poll was for. It was for you guys to go, hey, you know, I get where you're coming from, but I would still like you to, you know, be invested in Street Fighter 6 and see where that's going and get your opinions on it and such and so forth. And yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. So, you know, despite all the belly aching and the the rants and the raves, uh, I will stream Street Fighter 6 Year 2, I will stream Bison, I will stream Terry and Mai and Elena. Uh, I think I'm going to be a bit more casual about it, I'm not really going to rush to do it the day the character releases. Uh, I may do, I think for Elena I definitely will, for Terry I probably will. Bison, I don't know. Um, at the moment, there's no real desire for me, like right now, to you know rush back to Street Fighter Six anytime soon. But at the same time, I don't want to leave it too long in case you know I get spoiled and everything, and I see his entire arcade and his world tour stuff. So it's like, what's the point of streaming it then? So you know, it's finding that fine line. Um, I may not bother streaming Mai to be honest, because I just, I just Mai's easily the character I'm the most like just blur about. I just don't really care about. Amai being in the game, it doesn't mean anything to me really. I don't think her inclusion is going to be exciting personally. You know, no offense to my fans. So yeah, a lot of it's going to have to be ironed out. A lot of it's going to have to, you know, be kind of decided close to the time, just depending on how I feel when that character is releasing. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do Bison. I will probably stream him, you know, close to his release. I don't know if it's going to be the day of his release. I'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, the streams as well, I don't know if they'll be as deep as the most recent ones have been because for the Ed and Akuma streams, those streams were like three, four hours long because I was doing everything. I was, you know, I was doing their arcade and I was then I was going into World Tour and I was doing their side quests and I was spent like an hour grinding their style bonds. And, you know, I'm, I may not do that on stream for everybody. Like, I don't know if I'm going to bother streaming you know, me trying to max out Bison's style rank and going back and forth on that goddamn subway. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Uh, for Elena, I very well could. For Terry, I again, depends how I feel at the time. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to stream my... But yeah, so that's basically it, really. I just wanted to do this very quick video. Hopefully this is going to be about 10 minutes or less, just kind of going, hey, this is what's going on. This is my feelings on it. This is why I decided to change my mind. Hopefully it's all clear. Uh, sorry if this is rambly or very quick. Like I said, I just don't have a lot of time moment. Like at the moment, I've kind of just quickly came in from a dog walk because I'm going out in a bit later. And I just kind of was like, right, I've got 10 minutes. I just need to sit down and get this out. So that's it. So don't worry. I am going to be streaming Street Fighter 6 year two. I'm not going to like suddenly like everything. I'm just going to keep it real basically like I always do. If I don't like something, I'm going to voice that. If I like something, I'm going to voice that. Um, so with that on top, I'm still going to be doing stuff that, you know, I am more interested in. I'm going to be doing Third Strike stuff. I have a Third Strike video uh, that I'm not currently working on, but I'm about to start working on soon that I'm very excited for. Um, there's other stuff. I would love to start looking into other Capcom, you know, fighters from the 90s. Like, I would love to do stuff with Rival Schools or Star Gladiator. There's a lot of stuff I can still pull from on this channel, basically. And it's not, it's not all going to be Street Fighter Six. Like, I'm not going to be doing, you know... Every video is not going to be Street Fighter 6 like it kind of, well, not so much has been for the last year, but you know, I'm going to pick and choose basically when I want to talk about Street Fighter 6. For the most part, I don't really see myself doing that because, you know, uh, this year isn't, like I said, isn't thrilling to me as much, but you know, I'll just have to see how it goes. So yeah, that's it really. Um, if you have any questions, please let, you know, please ask them below in the comments and I'll try my best to, you know, answer them and clarify things if I wasn't clear on some stuff. But yeah. Thank you all for watching, thank you all for your support over the last year, and obviously any support that comes in the future from you all, I really appreciate it. Thank you again for everybody who voted on the poll, and gave your opinions, and you know, your feelings on it, and people who, you know, uh, who follow me on social media. I always put my Twitter link in the, uh, the description of, the, of every video, so if you want to follow me there, and see more of my kind of like, 
Twitter hot takes, I guess, if you want to call it that, you know, follow me there. But, you know, just thank you, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it's been good to have, you know, people who, you know, may not necessarily fully agree with what I say, but at least understanding of it. You know, it's always nice when people are just kind of like, hey, I may not agree, but I get it. And that's that's always cool. So, yeah, we'll leave things here. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And I shall see you in the next one, which will, at this rate, probably be the Bison stream. But um, I'll give out more details and more information probably close to the time. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you when I see you. Thanks for watching. Bye. We await your return, warrior.